we're going for a ride. <laughs> and my battery's dead. Like absolutely. All I did was turn it off on the kill switch though, not the thing. Then when I went over there the light stayed on. And then I came back, what, five minutes? No, it was more than that. It's been about fifteen. With the light on full. What so it was my fault totally. Just turn your... You're still draining the battery now. Turn your key up. Oh. Is it still on? Yeah, just give it a couple of minutes. It might, like, boost up again. Key enough to turn it over. And if not... Oh, it looks like you're running. And I'm just going to sit and watch it. No. One good... Pu one good push will do it. No way. That's going to be hard to bump. I reckon. Yeah, it's a V-twin, isn't it? how much engine braking's on it. You don't even need to use the brakes most of the time. Oh, my Lord. Why? Right, I'm going to have to get in position. Give it a quick try now. Just, like, just instantly turn it on. <laughs> R6 was easy to bump start. Not a V-twin, though, was it? And it was only a 600. Oh. Might be alright, I don't know, but I'd, in my head I just think it's going to be tough. This is a uh, classic Dodgem squad calamity, isn't it? I can't get out of the way quick. Oi, oi, oi. Right, I'm in. I'll try it in first. I don't think second will do it, will it? I don't think first will do it. Key, key's on, yeah? Ignition's on, key's on. Kill switch is off. God, I've not got it in me to push you today. Weren't you just saying I'm not doing anything until I eat food? <laughs> right, go. Say when you reckon. Yeah, go on. I didn't even turn the engine over. Right, I'll push. I just haven't got it in me to push. I'm out of breath just from that. Maybe seconds better then, I don't know. It didn't even, like, clunk over. Where are you pushing? On, my, on the tail? Yeah, it's quite hard to get a thing in it. <laughs> There's nothing there. <laughs> oh, nearly. Well, I can't do another one of them. I heard the engine clunk a bit that time. Come on, one big one. Everything you get! Everything you get! Ready? You ready? <laughs> go on, go on, two, three, go! Oh. Well, mine will be dead in a minute, just turn my key off. We did it! Persistence paid! All we had to do was wait for 17 hours on the driveway and it charged it up. Right, we're off out for a quick five minute lap and then I'm going home. Yeah. Two hours of the ride day you've been fixing short pieces. What? I said it, not even bothered. I'm hungry now. After all that excitement. Stop turning my bike off with the kill switch. You, you've done it like five times though, this is the first time it's bit you. I never used to do it. Weird, isn't it? I never ever used to use the kill switch. Once I've had something to eat, I'll be in a better mood. But if it rains, I'm going to flip out. Yeah, Jamie got some new tyres. Come back because they're uh, ruining his ride. They're just a weird profile. I like a almost a commuter tyre. It shouldn't really go on a big bike like that. You can see from here how square it is as well. Oh, so we've learned some valuable lessons today. I saw another YouTuber have a battery issue with his RC8 as well. So maybe, maybe they're just on the border of being only just powerful enough. I don't know. But I need to not turn the 
bike off with the kill switch and just turn it off with the key so i think even it being on for like a minute drains a lot of the battery out which i know you would say oh you should know that anyway but with having jack bikes and stuff in the past i've never really had that issue and if you do have an issue i don't know about you but i whenever i push the jack bike it seems to start up really easy not just that though but you look at the engine like come alongside me let's both do 50 get in the same gear that's first that's second that's about what i need to be in okay so i'm steady in third here right so this is third can you hear that after three we'll let off and see who slows down the most what are we at 43 42 right one two three how much engine braking yours has got over mine yeah so that's why we couldn't bump start that bike anyway that's a visual oh what would you say that's visual science that shows you we were struggling to get it going we were pushing it obviously it's quite a heavy bike yeah i was bouncing on the, the seat as much as i could i couldn't get enough weight over it and that's why you're trying to do it in first gear i mean that bike will do like 40 50 in first gear quite comfortably mine's it'll do it but it'll be screaming the gearing and the engine design and everything's just so different that yeah i mean if you try to do we tried to bump it in second as well which everyone would say i'll oh, do it in second because there's less torque in the gear and all that it made no difference the engine didn't even turn over second didn't even tickle it whereas it would on this oh yeah i would say it wouldn't even be that hard to bump start that so don't leave your bike with the lights on because it will kill the battery very quickly there are any like really small batteries on bikes as most people know anyway and then if you do you're going to need some sort of jump lead to start it you will not be able to bump start it i think even if you were pushing it faster like even if a couple were pushing you just it's only going to lock the back wheel up it's just not going to be it's not the speed i think i think if you had a big long hill you could have a few goes we did almost start it actually thinking about it we did get the engine to turn once didn't we it did like a bit of a bob but it wasn't enough obviously and that was the only time it must have just been a fluke that we hit a bit of grip on the ground or whatever so yeah a little uh, little tip there for you don't don't do what we do don't be idiots don't be a fool so the ktm lives for another day with no issues I feel like if we had one of them signs like at uh, building sites have where they go we've had 365 days without an incident reported if you had one and I had one I think mine wouldn't really reach double figures Although it's been alright until now Yeah it has apart from it jumping out of gear That's just KTM line Yeah Right we're off for a ride out uh, If you like the video give us a thumbs up If you want to see more Give us a little subscribe and the little belly button. Everyone says that. You gotta hit that bell. Smash that bell! Oh, that was a good one. That was a good one. <laughs> and if you wanna help the channel, give us a share with your mates. Pick a video, give it a share, and let us know you shared it. We'll give you a shout out. We like to spread the love. So we'll see you in the next one.